Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make collage animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and for example, I will use this factory image. So first one, let's hide these layers and create new solid layer for background color. Add name background and click OK. Go to FX Presses, search FX Fill. Select Fill, let's use for solid layer. And go to Color, change to black like this, click OK. And select this background, let's Ctrl D for duplicate. And go to Fill, let's delete. And search FX Grid. Select this grid, let's use again for this grid layer. And change name grid. Ok, so change size form here with slider and change slider like this and change opacity ok, not bad and let's select this background, go to again color let's change a little bit like this click ok and grid, let's go to opacity change opacity a little bit like this ok, that's good so select these two background layers, move to behind Photoshop layers and right now let's create new null object for control camera let's go to here create null object so this is for fake camera movements select null change name camera and for move to anchor point center hold control and double click pan behind icon Clicization tool select this background and grid link to camera null object also select these photoshop layers link to null object so right now let's go to shape layers hold this icon select rectangle tool and also enable title action save let's create new shape layer like this and clicization tool go to stroke chain stroke with zero and open fill color Select here yellow. Click OK and change name background text. And go to align. Click this icon and this icon for move to shape to center. So let's go to text and write here our text. How do we? Let's click session tool and go to. Let's double click change color to white click ok click session tool and change font size and put here also can change color to black click session tool ok and select this text layer let's press p and go to here make new passing keyframe and go to back let's move it up and hold shift press t open opacity and change opacity zero make opacity keyframe and go to some keyframes change 100 percent and make keyframes easy -ease. let's see animation okay select these two passing keyframes go to graph editor and select this graph let's make graph like this okay back to keyframes and select these text Let's go to here, Ctrl D for duplicate, press P and let's delete these passing keyframes and move it down. Go to text color, change to white. And let's double click for edit text. Let's write here, Clusation tool. Let's go to align, click this icon and this icon. Also, let's move it down. Okay, so let's make new passing keyframe and go to back and move it down select keyframes and make easy we have already opacity animation let's press u for c keyframes let's select two passing keyframe go to graph editor and make graph like this okay back to keyframes and let's close keyframe settings select this background shape layer press s and click this icon and change scale 0, make scale keyframe and go to here, change scale 100% and make keyframes easy. Go to graph editor, make graph smooth. Back to keyframes, let's move right. 
Okay, not bad. So let's close settings and select this background shape layer and two text layers. Link to camera tool and select camera. Let's see timing. After text animation, let's press P, make new passing Q frame and go to here. Let's move to left like this. Okay, so say Q frames, make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make smooth animation. Select this work area. Okay, back to Q frames. So in this same, um, let's go to here, select background. Let's unlink here, select none, and select this layer grid. And let's go to FS Presses search effect repetile. Select CC repetile. Let's use for grid and change expand right like this. Let's see. Okay, let's close title action save. Nice. So right now let's select this factory layer and sky bad, sky good. And let's select these layers and move to center like this. Okay, so in this time select the sky bed, press T, change opacity is zero, and let's say animation. Okay, so select the sky good and press T, change opacity also zero. And right now let's make opacity Q frame, got some Q frames, change 100 percent and make Q frames easy and move to left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Select work area. Nice. Okay, so in this time, let's go and go to layer, new and solid layer. Add name fire. File factory. Click OK and go to FX presets and go to FX video copilot and saber. If you have not Saber, I will add a link on the description below how to get Saber. In this time, let's change preset fire and go to here, render settings and change black to transparent. In this time, go to core and change core type layer mask. Select this fire and go to pen tool. Let's make mask like this. Okay, so let's click session tool and this time select this solid layer file factor and let's move to right and press T, change opacity 0, make opacity Q frame and go to here, change opacity 100%. Let's see. Okay, select Q frames, make easy and select the solid layer, move to behind factor layer. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And in this time, select the sky bed, press T and make opacity keyframe and go to here, change opacity 100% for bad sky and make keyframes easy. Let's say again. Nice. So in this time, let's select this sky bed and sky good link to Factor layer and select this factor. Let's go to here and press S, make scale Q frame, got some Q frames, and change scale 110. Okay, say Q frames, make easy. Go to graph editor and make graph like this. Select Q frame, move to left. Okay, and let's go to back, select this fire factor solid layer, link to also factor layer. Let's say again. Okay, we have problem, but we can fix it. Select this solid layer. Let's move to right a little bit. Okay, that's good. Let's say again. Nice, very good. So in this time, let's Close all these keyframe settings and select this text layer. Go to layer, new and adjustment layer and change name blur. 
and go to FX policy search effect Gaussian blur say Gaussian blur use for adjustment layer let's go to create blurness keyframe go to fave keyframes change blur like this and let's see nice okay so go to project and select this layer 3 first 3 let's move the inside composition and press S change scale let's put here and layer 2 move to here and change scale let's put here and layer 3 is 3 move to here and press S change scale a little bit and move to right and let's use Gaussian blur for this layer and change blur like this okay close this keyframe settings layer t2 and let's select this layer 3 2 let's move to left here and one let's move to here okay so select these three layers move to right and let's see timing okay so in this time let's move to here and press p go to here make new parts in keyframe and go to back Select this layer 3, move to right, and layer 2, move to left, and layer 1, move to down. Okay, let's see. So, select keyframes, make easies, and go to graph editor. Let's make graph like this, and select work area. Okay, select last few frames, move to right, and let's make random animations. First, let's move to left, like this. Okay, that's good, and back to project, select this dear PNG layer, move to inside our composition. In this time, let's close this setting, select this dear, let's move to front all these layers, and select these three layers, and blur, link to camera layer select this camera and let's see timing let's select this deer hide layer okay let's see timing okay and select this camera let's press p make new person keyframe got some keyframes and again let's move to left let's move like this okay we can keep here this layer 3 and select this layer 3 3 ctrl d and press p let's close this keyframes and move to right like this so right now select this grid go to fs control change repeat tile expand right a little bit more okay let's see nice and right now let's select this deer layer and move to here and press s change scale move to behind layer 3 3 okay and let's move to right let's go to here and link to camera tool Okay, so right now let's go to solo and change quality full and go to layer new and solid layer. Add the name dear fire. Click OK and move to here. Let's press T, change opacity and let's zoom in here. Go to pen tool. Let's make mask like this. This first mask and again let's add here new mask and right now let's select this dear fire go to fx again video copilot and saber change here fire 
and core type layer mask okay very nice and render settings change black to transparent so let's unsolo these two layers okay and select this dear fire let's move to here press t change opacity 100 percent and link to dear layer and let's select this dear fire and dear and background grid and background go to solo okay let's play settings select this dear fire and we can change we can change settings here like this change first change quality quarter and let's try some settings okay let's see here so in this time let's go to fx processor effect black and white and let's use for deer okay go to back and select this black and white use for layer 3 and this three and this also this layer so also use facture let's use black and white let's see okay and black and white use for sky good nice so finally let's select this deal fire and go to core let's go to start offset change this 100 percent and go to here right now let's create new start offset keyframe and go to five keyframes change zero percent let's see nice very good and we can change this fire for example firestorm for more realistic animation okay that's good and let's back to project and let's go to first second select this screen mp4 video format let's move to inside our composition and let's right mouse go to fit to comp and go to normal if you don't see these modes click toggle switch modes and go to normal select here add let's see nice and back to again project select this dust let's move to inside composition again go to here and fit to comp and go to normal click add so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like video and please follow me on instagram good luck